and this is Bird Zeno, and today we're going to be taking a look at the NECA 8-bit Predator figure. Holy shit. This thing is very impressive, even in the box. Wow. Just first off, you don't know the history about this. This is a Predator figure based off the appearance of the Predator in the 1989... I want to say video game of the Predator. I don't know. Maybe it's a. I don't know. It's the NES version. My actually, man, it came out in '86. Now I think, but I don't know. Never played this game, but I know it's crap because the Predator only appears for like two minutes. But this box is not crap. This box is fucking amazing, and it's uh, designed to look like the NES boxes. If you know the way those came in, you'll instantly recognize this, especially with the shrink wrap. And, um, you know, Nintendo games came shrink wrapped like this back in the day. That's, that's just awesome. <laughs> so awesome. I remember my local uh, video rental store that actually had some of these. I bought, them, uh, bought a couple of them off when I was a kid. And uh, they actually did this little trick where they would leave the shrink wrap on the figure, I mean on the figure, got, whoa, on the, uh, on the game, which is a really neat trick, and you know what, I suggest that you do that for this guy, if you want to, because it creates like a dust jacket of sorts, and it just looks cool with the whole sheen that's got going to it. So you just cut the plastic, like that right there, and you just lift it up on the flap and get the guy out. But first we need to take a look at the back. That's what the Predator figure actually looks like. And of course it says, if it bleeds, we can destroy it. Yeah, that's totally the line. <laughs> you better, or it'll be blood, blah, 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 blah. you get the shit. You get the idea. Now, peel off this awesome, awesome shrink wrap. Uh, feels like a crime to do that, but oh well. And we open up the box to reveal the Predator. And his plasma cannon looks like it might be broken. Yay. <laughs> but and you see here he is in this little awesome, awesome packaging. It's got a little fold-out window right here. You're one ugly beast. Yep, that's totally legit. And so let's uh, take this guy out real quick. I'm going to do this all in one video because... Or one clip. Because if I don't, the upload will probably screw up because it's been doing that a lot lately. And I'll have to end up re-uploading it. Alright, so that is now empty. And... Oh, nigga figure smells so good. And when you take this out, and you can see it's got a nice little background, which I am going to use. So, set that delicately down there. I think... Yeah, plasma caster is broken. <sighs> I'm not the only one that happened to, happen to but, uh... I Pixel Dan, and it actually happened to him. The same damn spot. Same damn spot. I did order this from Big Bad Toy Store, so. Uh, okay, come on up, buddy boy. Ugh. Half this video is just gonna be looking at my stool. Hope you enjoy. Leave a like. <laughs> Alright, there's the figure. And there's the plastic. Ugh, really? Wow, not only is it broken, but it's warped. I can get it to stay on, and I'll probably have to super glue it, but there we go. Doesn't look too bad, but 
you can kind of tell that it's broken right there. Not the way it's supposed to be. But oh well, uh, let's set that to the side real quick. And, ooh, really loose hips. Really loose hips. Alright, zoom in, or focus, I should say. And we have just a repaint of the Jungle Hunter Predator from the first movie. And honestly, since I don't have that figure, this is not a bad repaint to get. Oh, wow. Is the blades extend? Yeah! Blades extend! Woo! Ugh. Just fiddle with some of these joints, make sure they're okay. Oh, yeah. These double bending knees I've never had a problem with out of these Predator figures. Ugh. Okay. Uh. Alright, well, there he is. That is the video game Predator. Wow. This does not look bad at all. Does not look bad at all. And of course the back is even detailed on this guy. That's where this is supposed to go. And what you do is you take the little clip, you clip it up under here, and you bring it up top, and try and peg that in. Uh, this would have been better if I filmed it in the other place. Uh. Uh. I was not wanting to peg in. All right, there we go. I'm bringing him in a little closer. He's standing a little bow-legged. It's my fault. The figure is not warped. And that's not staying on. Okay, well, there we go. <laughs> I got a super glue that anyways. And, uh, I don't know what's up with that pig. But, dude, this is amazing. And you know, he likes to do the fucking limbo. <laughs> Yeah, this is this is an awesome, awesome looking figure. Awesome looking figure. If you can't get the Juggle Hunter, which, you know, that's really insanely priced nowadays, go for this. I'm just straightening up the bones and stuff around him. There we go. And, wow, this thing looks nice. Looks really, really nice. Really nice. Doesn't like the stand. Ugh. That sucks. I mean, he'll stand, but his hips are so loose that he tends to lean back. I think I got him in a good pose. Oh, oh, <laughs> there we go. I think once I would put this on him, he'd be even worse. I mean, this isn't that heavy, but it adds just enough weight to make him want to go, woo! Oh, really? This, this really, this, this makes me very sad that that broke. But, you know, that's easily fixable with super glue. No need to send that back to BBTS. Alright. Yeah, that dude, dude, this is this is worth the twenty dollars that I pay for this. You get this for twenty dollars at BBTS. Oh let's just take a face dive into the shelf. Wonderful. This wow. You could probably get this for twenty five at Toys R Us. I think that's what my local one had it priced at when I was there yesterday and wow this thing is this is worth that. Worth that if the hips weren't so fucking stiff. 
But yeah, normally this isn't going to come in broken. I've only seen a few of them like that. So you shouldn't be worried too much about that. Like I said, that's easily fixed with super glue. And get the guy in the right pose, play with him a little bit. And I'm at an awkward angle here, so that's probably why I can't get him in a good pose to keep him from falling over. But this thing just looks, this thing just looks sick. Oh, man. Wow, this is awesome. I mean, I know it's just a repaint of the Predator 1 Predator, but damn! Wow, this thing's awesome. Really, really cool. Really, really recommend. I just noticed something here. Here, you're going to get a sneak peek of it, a future review. This guy, the Hive Wars Predator. See this little hose right here? It pegs into the armor. Well, this guy's got a hole for the armor, so they just reused the armor on this guy and didn't give him the hose. <laughs> wow. Oh, good old NECA. Can't complain too much because this figure is fucking awesome. Yeah, it, lo it looks kind of stupid, that awkward angle, but this way I have to film right now, so I apologize. And uh, yeah, I'm going to film these other two tomorrow, but I just want to get those knocked out of the way because if I was going to open it, I wanted to show it on camera because that packaging is just awesome. So, yeah, uh, this is going to be it for now. Leave your thoughts in the comments down below what you think about this guy. I really, really recommend, really recommend this guy. 20 bucks, not bad at all. Not bad at all. So yeah, that's going to be it. Beard Zeno out.